deserve that one. Thank you. Fail. All right, I have some dumb dicks in the news. We can do some dumb dicks in the news, and then I got to go pick up my kid, and I know you're going to have one, so you got to get out of here. Oh, you have yeah. a woman that loves you, and you have a woman that likes you. At last yeah, check, I made good. her dinner tonight, too. Shout out to Brat Girl. She's up top there and uh, something. She says. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching right what now. What the hell? Her name's you... Brat Girl because she likes Da Brat, the rapper. Oh, okay. Wait, Da Brat? Da Brat. The rapper? Yeah. And the that's rapper? Still alive? That's her, the, yeah, and it's her favorite rapper. <laughs> of all time? Yeah. So uh, How old man. is she? She's 40 like me. Da Brat. Yeah, it's, I was like, are you serious? She goes, I love her. I love her style. I love everything about Da Brat. So she's Da Brat Girl. Shout out. Is there any other random announcements you two would like to make? No, I think he just took them on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll take them. Dumb dicks in the news. You guys are stand-up comedians. Griffin Thomas, Rob Churchill, and TJ Noonan on there the couch. Indian comedian Munawar Faruqi, 28-year-old guy. I don't understand what he's saying in this clip, but the dude seems to do pretty well. This clip has a Gonna million had views. A hair on him. A good-looking guy. million views, 28 years old. And made, made by women, why did you Naam it? Why did you write it? We know who made it. Rekha made it. He looks like the Indian Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> now look, uh, I don't me, speak... Zach Kandaji. The uh, <laughs> Hindu language, is that what that is? Yeah, he looks like the, it looks like the Indian Zach Kandaji. One Hindi. Zach Kandaj, I don't know who that is. Beautiful. He, was, he's, he worked at the Laugh-In. He's oh. a comedian up in... Very deep reference. Oh. Very inside reference. <laughs> I, just, I have Indian music. It's either this or Indiana Jones. Look at his drip. Look at that watch. I mean, son. the guy yeah. I, the guy had the good style. jokes. Look at that. It was a setup and punchline pretty quickly and got so some laughs. So let's see the real punches. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. he was performing jokes where he made comments that were considered disparaging well, about, he talked about the deities. And, well, I'm not. He mocked the Hindu deities by passing indecent comments. Dude ended up actually getting arrested. He gets beaten up by the mayor's son for telling dick jokes. Uh, I have oh the, uh, Did he fuck with Vishnu? Here's the video. It's hard to understand what's going on. Come At one point, they pull the guy off stage. They hush him. They like rush him into this room. The mayor's son. I guess ends up punching the guy because uh, the mayor's son was accused of assaulting the comedian as well as four of his friends. It's odd. The guy's with three, four other comedians. So it's like you going up, doing a show with somebody who you're not doing the jokes, but somebody else goes up and does the joke, and then you get assaulted on Guilty your way out of association. The yeah, exactly. They lined them all up, That's and they bullshit. were like, hey, listen, here, we're arresting all you guys for indecency. That's crap. Uh, the colleagues That's were funny. Prakar Vyas. Priyam Vyas, Nalan Yadok, and Edwin Anthony. Very odd. The last legend. Did you say Eric up? Anthony? Yeah, yeah Edward, guys, he's in town doing a guest spot. From uh, <laughs> in Pakistan? I'm, I'm in Dubai. <laughs> hey, man. Can I get five over the Pakistani comedy club? <laughs> joins the Pakistani I just flew in from yes. Iowa, and boy, are my arms tired. Pack, pack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have time for silence on that. Uh, but imagine that. So I, first the of all, Mumbai that, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't even break up a ship, but I'm going to break up a whole set. Let's go. I like that Prakar and Priyam both had the last name Vias. I'm imagining that might be like a husband and wife. Hey, the oh, bias. He's, he's kicking himself in the ass for taking that unpaid ge- guest spot. I, I thought because <laughs> he's getting he's getting his I ass thought they were brothers. What, I, you I, think I, brothers? Yeah. Um, I didn't see a woman getting hit in this video, and you can't really see a guy either. But they're hushing him in this room. Are you sure they're not waiting for a train? <laughs> <laughs> look, they look like they're in a subway. <laughs> Very annoying placement. Jesus. All right. Every Indian video so, I see where it's this crowded, they're just trying to get on a train. <laughs> so who do you fuck with? Ganoush, Vishnu? Uh, Vish, I don't know deity. any of them. Do you know any of them? I just did the only two I know. Oh, okay. There were 100 people <laughs> attending the event in a small hall, which is called some type of cafe. So it's basically open mic night at the cafe. This guy with four other comedians, one of which, <laughs> yeah, Eric Anthony, ends up, uh, they all got charged with indecency. Wait, 
Google <laughs> Eric Anthony comedian. I just want to see, just cause. Eric, <laughs> I'm just Anthony comedian. There, there can't be more than, there can't be I, only one. He's dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> Two. images. Damn. Eric Anthony. Oh, Eric Andre. There you go. Eric let's, Bana. Let's, that's who it was. These oh. are all people I did not ask. Should Who's I put that guy? Can you imagine growing that up? That looks in like India? Vince Vaughn, except shorter. I thought it was Edward Anthony. <laughs> there we go. Aziz. No. That's <laughs> Eric. <laughs> that's Eric Anthony Indian. Oh, he's awesome. I he think. went full American on that. Ah, you're though. right. Sorry, I'm searching the wrong name. Damn it, you're right. Uh, TJ, Edwin Anthony, Edwin. Indian comedian. Oh, no, nah, just photos of his more famous friend. But <laughs> are you annoyed by that? Yeah, <laughs> you guys that's all go to. <laughs> yeah, and you're suck. with the other comedians. You get your ass beat for a joke that's not told by you, and then he gets his face all over, <laughs> and, and now he's getting millions amazing. of views on Instagram. Fucking most popular guest spot he ever did. No, well, of the guys that are there are now pissed off because they're not getting the clicks. And Mumar, the, the dude that got beaten up, the comedian that told the joke, Munawar Farouki. I mean, that dude's getting all the clicks now. Now he's getting he's all those dollar name. bills and nobody's getting shit. Eric, Edwin Anthony. I don't even know that Monowar guy's fucking name. Farquay. He's got a normal name. I don't even know, you but I know it. Manowar Faruqi. You said Manowar his name was You said his name was Mumar. It sounds like a jellyfish. <laughs> a Munawar. You confused his name with Gaddafi. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gaddafi. Uh, you know, a lot of syllables that were the same. M-U-W. Mumar. Racist. Munawar. Hey. It's Mumar. <laughs> <laughs> you and your racism. Uh, uh, yeah, ever get beaten up on stage? No, no. not been doing it long enough. No, not, not I can me. see you. Really? I pissed off a whole. Wait, didn't you get one punched night. one time? No. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, wait! You you yelled at the guy who owned the place, and there was a story about you. Yeah, yelling. yeah, yeah. At the side splitters, I I was like, I've never done crowd work, so I got off stage. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get off stage to do crowd work. I know, for the but I, I wanted to sit down with them. <laughs> And, and and then someone goes, get back on stage. I go, go fuck yourself. So I go, that's the owner. <laughs> and I jumped like, zoom. Uh, he's <laughs> like he's a big up. dude. You don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I jumped really far back. I did uh, a couple of shitty jokes and I got the fuck out of town. Yeah. I bet you haven't been back since, have you? No, I was no. wondering why the I look different, though. That's when I. Was, do you know TJ Noonan? <laughs> <laughs> They're coming they from Fort Myers. Do you know him? Um, I had long hair back then, too. Yeah. Only time that that came close was I told a joke and then there was a Navy SEAL in the audience and afterwards, you got my face, but then we ended up joking, and yeah, we ended up being able to patch things up and become friends. And then he told me Bush planned 9 11, so that was the way we were. I was get about to you get punched to in the go. face, and then he was like, Yeah, and Bush planned 9 11. I was like, Whoa, okay, Let's Bush can't that. plan a bar mitzvah. You're well, like, I don't think he <laughs> actually was involved. Why would he be planning a bar mitzvah? That's I mean, he's a good friend, yeah, you know. <laughs> You're like, the don't bushes mess are throw- That's normally what you hear. Do you think bushes controls are the, the bushes' mitzvah. money? The Lowenstein. Okay. You're like, I'm part oh. of an even more secret. Right. Okay. <laughs> You're like, I'm a, I'm a Navy otter. Uh, this guy changed his name. He got drunk and changed his name legally to Celine Dion. What? I can get down with some Celine Dion, man. And not, I'm talking deep cuts of Celine Dion. We were talking so about the Titanic, Titanic earlier. I know. <laughs> How do you think I know that she sung the soundtrack to it? And that's all anybody knows her for. But, man, you want to get to it. It's all coming back to me. This is a good tune. I love Celine Dion. Oh, that's Indian music. I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. but it's got a very curry feel to it, <laughs> wow. more than usual. <laughs> <laughs> spicy feel. A lot spice. of eggs tonight. Nobody lo- my- all right, so a lot the guy, of whammies. The guy ended up getting drunk on New Year's Eve with his buddy. He was drinking champagne and listening what? to Celine Dion. So he went... I wonder how much it would cost to change my name to Celine Dion. $128. <laughs> That's how much it costs to change your name to Celine Dion. <laughs> would you ever change your name for... If I were to pay $128, yeah, you want to do it. I would do it for the radio. I was thinking I about like that. How I didn't even have to answer you. I just looked at you Because like I know you want to... Why would you do that? But no. for me, if I did it on the radio, then we could get some publicity out of it. A guy changes his name to yeah. Bruce Springsteen. All the radio station has to pay is $128. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. We Dude. can make some money. So my, my mom, a few weeks ago, she, she called... She Celine Dion? No, she calls me and uh, she says... Uh, so cool. Go ahead. No, that gets me going too. Right, that's what I'm saying. Celine I'm, I'm in shit. it, dude. Fuck you no, guys. So, you don't so like Celine Dion. She says, uh, "Come over." She says, "Come over." Right. I, I need Nobody to talk to you about Celine. something. We, we didn't I feel like we should just and be I, looking I'm scared because I'm in a low cascading around. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me, right? So, hold on, so, hold on, so, so uh, hold on, hold on. What the fuck? I, I zoomed in. <laughs> well, I, mean, I was on topic here. So my mom asked me to come over. Yeah. And uh, so I was scared as fuck. I'm like, what the fuck is it? She has cancer. I, I was thinking the worst. She oh. sits me down. And my name's TJ. It stands for Thomas Jefferson. She goes, I named you after a slave owner, and I'll pay for your name change. <laughs> so I was like, 
I'm only going to change it to something super weird. I will not be like Tom Smith or something. I was how about like, Moneer Farquhar? I, I almost didn't realize how it was on topic, but because they got it's Moon War. Tick tock around the it's clock, Moomar, right back to you. Moon It's Moon War. No, you asked about name changes. Moon War Faruqi. Sounds like a. Oh, you're right. Jellyfish. I did ask about name changes. So yours was kind of right. All right, so nobody totally likes Celine right. Dion but me. Fine, I thought I was no. just singing it, but I was interrupted because TJ had to talk about his name because he's a racist. <laughs> his father's a racist. He's yeah. not. Apparently, the whole family <laughs> is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm about the I'm father. A, I'm an eighth black. All right, okay, that's not. This, oh, all right, enough. All right. Uh, uh, I know. I just, I do. I like fruity too. We've man. been going too long. What? When I turn on Celine Dion, that should <laughs> yeah, be the outro yeah. music. Is, all right, we've had enough. Uh, I think that's it for dumb dicks in the news. There was a video of guys shooting fireworks at each other, and now Russian police are looking for him. Uh, oh, I would sure. like to do this. I bet we could get him discount now. <laughs> it's not even that bad. Are they Roman candles? I think they're just little ones. Watch. But it's not even that bad. Are they out of the crack? Okay. And for the cops to want to oh, arrest gonna... him over it. It'll Everybody fuck around in Russia. fireworks at each other, right? If they use the not very far. Oh, come on. Who? I've done this with Roman candles. Like, they're not even making it to them. Yeah, that's how you do it. This is some pussy shit. It's like beginners. Russian police are hunting for two shirtless men who fought each other with oh, fireworks in the streets. Go. Oh, well, that's because he's shooting fucking legit fireworks. <laughs> yeah, <he's> yeah, that's <laughs> cool, man. That's I'm, what we should do. <laughs> I've never shot mortars at my friends. Yeah. I'll be honest. Oh, there was an explosion. That's I can understand the concern. Ah, that happens every day here in Cape Coral. I uh, hear that shit all day long. Uh, happens I'm every sh- day in Russia. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the least of Russia, it. bitch. We, <laughs> you know, we are we are drunk. Florida, this place turns into Beirut on July Fourth and New Year's Eve. They're saying the men were part of a dangerous duel during their New Year's Eve celebrations. For who? That happened shortly before midnight in Balashuker. They, they look, I, they look like they're in Harry Potter. It does. It do, does. It doesn't. It look like a. a, a, a we war go to between. underground club. We have good time. I come out with my shirt off. We light fireworks. Okay, you be Harry you, you be Harry Potter. I be Voldemort. Okay, hey. for this game, I be Voldemort. That's funny you say that, man. Harry Potter versus Voldemort, Moscow <laughs> region style. A user said of the video clip, which has now gone viral. So yeah, you're right. It does. See, I told you, I'm Voldemort. <laughs> Pay no mind. I am naming which you do not speak. That's cool. You want to do that, oh. TJ? Oh, not that. Dude, they, like this dude got like he like this guy brought like a knife, and this guy's got like a fucking <laughs> AR-15. Okay, it's just not fair. I think that's you know, I was drinking a lot when I said that. <laughs> About the tasing? Yeah. This no, is, I'll get tased, but not This is this what year. Disney's uh, fireworks show is going to look like when they bring it back. <laughs> well, TJ and his wife won't be there, I can tell you that. What much. the hell oh, just happened? What the? F- what a sweet little princess. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on. You can't show us red. What like, is look. going on here? Oh, what a sweetheart. Oh, I made that off. <laughs> there was something there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> racing Hi, that Rab. That's, oh, <laughs> that's weird. Uh, the reason that's up is not like I scroll through Rab's Facebook yeah, files all day. This guy. It's not in a file name. Is related? Stuff. This, I saw this and I went, who does this look like? And I spent like <laughs> 15, 20 minutes wow. trying to figure out who that guy looked like. And then I went, holy shit, that's old bald Rab. It looks like me and Rab had a baby. Well, after his nose been broken several times, it <laughs> You don't think that looks like old ball Rab? They got this. Oh, I man, I think right. It does. It does. No, yeah, yeah it does. Uh, I think Rab has a dad that he doesn't know about. It's those eyes, man. Fifty-four-year-old David Mann was arrested after he caught. He was caught. <laughs> sprayed himself with a fire extinguisher in an attempt to dry himself in a parking garage on Florida State University's campus, according to the cops. They found him in the parking garage. He told the cops that he had been drinking fell asleep, and then fell in water when he woke up, which really means he pissed himself, and he tried to use a fire extinguisher to dry his pants off. And I looked at that, and I went, that guy looks like Rab Russell. I just want to know why, why Rab's is... so sad on Christmas. I, know. Uh, I think it's actually his birthday. I was oh. going to say, why is he got the Andy Perez stare going somebody on? Somebody wrote, happy birthday, happy birthday, Bob. What? That See, that doesn't look like a Bob. That looks like a Rab. That looks like a Bob. Yeah, it does. Looks like With, a, that looks like a Bobby Joe. Well, mm. so okay, I'm Look, he's smiling. Griffin he's and got I com- think that looks like, all right, I'll he's take that 50%. He's got, a, he's got, a, he mid, he's got a middle name that he uses every day. Oh, one of the three-name guys? Yeah. Mm. Got to be careful with those guys, man. Hey, don't, Harvey trust, don't ever trust the three-name guys. Mark guy. David Chapman. Yep, see? Oh, shit. There's a theory. My dad's a John, uh, Wayne John Lennon impersonator. 
Like that's what he he were yeah. Uh, John Lennon only has two names. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but, but he was killed by a guy that had three. Yeah, yeah. and his only fear in life is getting killed by a Mark David Chapman impersonator. He he really does. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you running bits? No, no. Because <laughs> right, that's, so that's a true story. My dad it, uh, plays John Lennon in a band. We'll get into that another time. In All fact, right. bring video footage for that. Is that one. Where how we're 